What's up? Um, so here's the deal. I am new to this whole thing, but I'm starting a vlog today. This episode is it's all about building a, an idea. I'm building a a platform bed situation for my car. I don't want to have to put up a tent all the time. I mean, yes, I do love camping. I've done quite a bit. I'm from Colorado. I was in the military and did a lot of camping when I was in the Navy, but uh, which probably sounds weird to some of you, but those of you who know, you know. I don't really want to be renting a hotel room every single night. I don't make enough money to do that. I am an elementary school teacher. So, as a teacher, I'm all about tutorials and how-to. I'm always promoting my students to get out there and try. Just go and do it. So that's what this is about. This is me trying. This is me doing. And here we go. Um, part of the thing that you don't didn't see or didn't show in the video is I've already built this up. Um, the problem here is like the frame of the car, the blue area that you see, is actually about uh, two inches lower than the back of the seats. You see there? There's a bit of a, a rise or a gap here. So I built that up so that way this is now level with the seats. Um, the other thing that I showed, or the other thing I didn't show, is that I took these out and they were just done here with uh, just one bolt. Take those the bottom part of that seat off and then I can fold this down and now that is level. The reason why I want to do this in a car, uh, I, one I already own it, I'm pretty frugal and I don't want to be spending a lot more money on anything so it's going to be inexpensive. So far I'm guessing it's I mean, with the wood that I bought, that was about $60, including, uh, I also got some screws and the hardware that I'm gonna need. Um, so maybe $100 at most. I'm not doing anything permanent, so that way I can get to emergency equipment if I need to, get to the spare tire, that sort of thing. And also, I wanna be able to sell my car when everything is all said and done. The idea is that I've got these jigsaw boxes. There's gonna be like four of them that are gonna fit together builds me up about seven inches off of where the seats are and that way I have storage underneath. I can lift those hatches up, get to the things that I want, and therefore I'm going to take the creature comforts of home and put them into the car. And uh, hopefully this inspires you if you want to do it. Um, I don't know, I'm not a professional. Do so at your own risk, but here I go. Wish me luck. April 21st, 20, April 21st, 20, April 21st, 1992. There was a riot on the street. Tell me, where were you? 
That's a that's a sublime song. And that that song was about that song was about the LA riot. Yeah, here we are. Decades later, but in a, another crappy situation. Speaking of crappy situation, this is my quarantine haircut. Maybe you're like, eh, it's not bad. You don't want to see the back. It's yeah. Anyway, here we are in the car camper, the finished results of the build and uh, in the sun. Anyway, here is the build. Um, right now I'm just using um, patio furniture pads. I got a sweet felt blanket from Wally World. I think it's sweet. I really dig this like Native American style. I just want to be politically correct. No offense. I don't want to offend anybody on that. Um, I just don't know the, the right nomenclature for how do you describe this, but it's cool. I dig it. I love it. It just reminds me of like spring break uh, road trips when I was a kid. My mom took us to like Santa Fe area and I just dig that. There's like, you know, bison on there that uh, I just really dig that style. Yeah. Anyway, as you can see, there's a lot of room in here. These uh, these guys right here, this felt, this is the privacy system that I've got rigged up. Oh, and these back windows, if you can see, I this one's set up right now, but this is just felt and there's um, adhesive, adhesive Velcro. Um, so what it, what, what it do, what you do uh, with these is that you stick them uh, to cover the windows so at nighttime you just stick it up and and it should block out all of the light that could come in so that's gonna make it easier to sleep and then also it's gonna block out any sort of weird peeping Tom I don't want people like peeking in on me while I'm sleeping that just is off-putting that's strange and on the front window I have just the regular old sun visor, like you're a, a concerned motorist about your dashboard type of deal. Um, I didn't go through the specifics on the build exactly because you probably don't have the same car. And if you do, it, the measurements aren't that difficult. It's gonna be the way you wanna do it. This is gonna be different for every car out there. So if you're looking to do this for your own car, you're gonna have to measure it for yourself. Um, the height in here, it just worked out that seven inches made a lot of sense to me. I probably could have gotten away with a, a, like making it a little bit higher, but uh, I don't know, seven inches is good enough. Insert inappropriate joke. Okay, on to new news. New, new news. Here's the news. I want, I, li I live in a, in a neighborhood in Minnesota, well, <laughs> like almost anybody who lives in Minnesota, where there are lakes, two lakes, big ones. And I've, I've not really gone out on them. I've always done shore fishing. So I wanna get out on the lakes. So I'm getting a kayak, the Ascend 10T from Cabela's. And I think that it would make for a really good video to build one up and then to test it out. I want to be able to do stand-up fishing on this kayak. I've done a lot of research. There are some really killer ones out there. Trust me, I know. And you're probably going to tell me, like, that's a stupid kayak. Don't get it. Here's the deal. It comes in three colors. I just can't decide on which color. So in the comments below, tell me which color you would get. There's lime green, white, and I think the other one's gray. But look at them. Tell me which one you think looks cool. Post it in the comment and I will buy whoever, if that one gets the most votes, so if the, whichever color gets the most votes, the most comments, that's the one I'm buying. And uh, yeah, then I'll kind of do like an, an unboxing and slash uh, setup video for tricking it out on a budget, balling on a budget. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. As always, if you like the video, hit the like button. Any suggestions, I appreciate it as long as they're appropriate. And yeah, subscribe. That means a lot to me. And I'll see you next time.
really cool stuff. 